Hi everyone, in this lecture we will be talking about the like boolean operator. The like boolean operator represents a string with, with characters inside of it that look for a specific pattern using uh, something called wildcards. Now it is a fuzzy version of the equality operator and it, if the match is true then the row is going to be a part of the result set. So without further ado let's dive into it and let's actually see how it works. Now I'm going to say select, we are familiar with this and I'm going to say from and I'm gonna grab the countries table. Let me close this query tab. So I'm gonna give it an alias, which is C. Then we are gonna say where C dot country underscore name. Now, basically what we are trying to do is we are trying to search for countries that start with the letter capital A. So if that expression is true, then we are going to return those countries. Otherwise, we are not going to return anything. So C dot country name is like what? It is like, so we are looking for capital A. I'm going to pass in capital A and using a wild card, which is the person sign in this case. Now, what do I want to, in, what do I want to graph for the, from this data? What column do I want to retrieve from this data? I just want to grab the country name. So I'm just going to say C dot country name. Let's save that. Let's run this. And we got Afghanistan, Argentina, and Australia. Why? Because these are the only countries whose first letter, or it's, uh, I think whose is correct, whose first letter starts with a capital A. You can see we don't have any other country. So this is the first example. I'm going to give you a couple of more examples so you really get the hang of this. So let me come down here and I'm going to say example 27. Perfect. Now in this lecture, in this example, let's say you want to look for countries th uh, that end with the word A. So, or with the, sorry, with the letter A. So I'm just going to pass in uh, A at the end. And if I run this, so first let's take a look at that. So which, what are the countries we know? Argentina, Australia, Canada. So that's four. China, that's five. Uh, do we have any other? We have India, that's six. We have Nigeria, and I think that's only, we are only going to get those countries. So if I run it, there we go. So this is where these results are coming from. Oh, we got United States of America and Zambia. Zambia. So perfect. I'm going to give you, let's go to the another, to another example. So that is going to be example number 28. So let's come down here. Let me just comment out so it doesn't run again. You can also look for any string uh, that has a particular letter inside of it. So it doesn't matter if that letter is in the, at the start, at the end, or in the middle. So the letter is at any position. So I'm just going to pass in here. Uh, M, and it doesn't matter wh whether it's in the start or in the end, so I'm just going to pass in another uh, wildcard here. Let's save this file, let's run it, there we go. So any country that has the letter M inside of it from this date, from this table, has been returned here. So this is, this is example number 28. Let me copy this example. And then I'm going to comment this one out. And in the final example, you can also check if, uh, like for a specific letter, that is like the second letter of any specific string. So if you wanted to do that for some reason, then you can do that as well. So let's say we want to look for countries whose second letter is A. We don't care what the starting letter is or how it ends, just the second letter has to be A. Let's uh, take a look at that. Do we have anything like uh, the second letter, the letter at the second position? Uh, do we have, we have France's third one, uh, Japan, it could be, this is one, so perfect. Mars, this, that is two. Zambia, that is three. So we should get three results at least. Oh, we got Canada as well. So there we go. 
So this is how this like boolean operator works. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.